Hey it turkeys, welcome to today's Big Brother Over the Top updates and spoilers. Our house guest today is Brandon Alexander. Brandon, I hope you're having a very, very happy Thanksgiving, and I hope all of you guys are having a great Thanksgiving. Okay, <laughs> so let's get into it. Last night, Shelby was evicted by a vote of two to zero, and in her eviction speech, she you know, reveal to everybody that she just graduated from law school, she's waiting on her bar exam results, and I saw on social media that people were saying she passed. I don't know if that's, like, confirmed or not, but if she did, congratulations! Yay! Okay, so, after she walked out the door and refused the crackles from Jason, <laughs> there was a pre-recorded announcement from Julie, because Julie said, um, no, I will not be working Thanksgiving weekend get away. So she was like, everybody plays in the final HOH and whoever wins that is going to choose one person to join them in the final three and then the remaining two house guests are going to battle it out for the final spot. That's crazy. All right, so Morgan is like, hey, I got nothing to lose here. The secret is burning a hole in my pocket brain, brain pocket. So she lets everybody know, guess what? Alex is my sister. So... I can only imagine what Chrissy was actually thinking when she said that to everybody. But Jason was like, oh, that makes sense. Like, I couldn't tell you guys apart for the whole first week. And, um, like I said, Chrissy already knew. And Morgan made it known that she told Chrissy. She was like, yeah, um, I tried to make a deal with Chrissy. So I told her about it to get her trust. And Chrissy's like, oh, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> she told Jason that she thought that Morgan was lying when she told her about it before, so that's why she didn't, like, tell her everybody. But then when she was talking to Morgan on her own, she was like, I told you I wouldn't tell anyone. I kept, I kept your secret. All right, so then everybody was talking about this in the bathroom except for Justin. They were just like, oh, how was it, like, being in the house with your sister? And they were really nice about it. Nobody was being mean. Um, they were just, like, genuinely interested. And then, uh, Justin was off on his own. He wasn't hanging out with them. He was, like, zenning out before this HOH competition. He's kind of like on the outs with these three. It's interesting. So then they had the HOH competition and it was called Uphill Battle. And this was very similar to the Battle of the Block competition from season 16 when Caleb was like, no, I'm throwing this. I'm not going to do it. And Frankie was like, <sighs> and then he freaking won it on his own. It's the one where you got to like put the ball on the little uh, wood thing, ski lift, and then you have to pull the strings to lift it up. Uh, and there's like obstacles on the way up on the board that could ruin your run. <laughs> so the question for this, uh, they had to list the HOH winners in order and then guide the correct, you know, corresponding balls up the board into the slots. So Jason freaking blew everyone out of the water on this. By the time he placed the ninth and final ball, Chrissy was only on like her third and the others had won. <laughs> what the frig? So I'm pretty sure those three were trying to go top to bottom where Jason was going bottom to top. That strategy obviously paid off for him. So then after he wins, Jason lets them know like, you wanna know my secret? I was voted in by America and he was up against Jose. <laughs> Sorry, Jose. <laughs> Scenarios. All right, so then after the competition, you know, Jason's super excited because he got his spot in the final three. Chrissy's super excited because she knows that he's going to take her. Uh, Justin is off by himself again, and he, I think, went into the storage room and was like, I'm effed. So then Jason is alone with the girls, and he tells them, I haven't made up my mind yet. I'm open to hearing what you guys have to say. We know he wants to take Chrissy, but I think he is kind of keeping an open mind. Um, no, he wants to take Chrissy. Okay, so then Jason and Chrissy were chatting alone, and he's like, I'm just kidding, I want to save you. Like, of course I'm going to save you. So she's just like... So then <laughs> Jason is saying that he's hoping that Morgan is going to beat Justin in this final challenge because then they can get rid of him. They won't really have anything to do with it. It's not like they voted him out. Uh, so like, oh snap, they were all saying they wanted to go to the final three together, but mm -mm. due to recent events, uh, in the last few days, Jason is really down on Justin right now. He thinks he's arrogant because he's saying like, oh, I think I got a good chance at winning. Jason doesn't like that. Um, so he would hate to go to the final three and lose Justin. So he, he's going to be rooting for Morgan in that final competition. 
So then Jason gets his HOH room and eventually Late Night Jamboree is alone up there and Jason lets Justin know, I just want to let you know ahead of time, I'm taking Chrissy. We were together like a day longer, so <laughs> I'm going to stick with her. And Justin was just like, okay. I mean, he wasn't happy about it, but what is he going to do? Throw a tantrum? So then he goes downstairs. Jason and Chrissy are still talking crap about Justin. And Jason is like going off. He's talking about how he thinks Justin has been putting on a show uh, to get sympathy from America and he's angry that Justin's so confident that he can win and like Chrissy was playing up the whole like Jason and I are poor we need this to Justin and Justin was like you guys are not poor like there are people way that are off way worse than you so like no. And she relayed that to Jason and he didn't like that either so there's like mad tension between Justin and Jason right now it's crazy. So today Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, the other day they were like recording something secretly and the feeds were down. Well, we found out what it was. Today on CBS uh, they played the house guest messages for their families, so that's cool. And then Big Brother gave them all of these ingredients to make their feast. And they had recipes from their families, recipes from some of their fellow house guests that have been evicted already. And they also got letters from home. So emotional. <laughs> So we'll talk about that more tomorrow. We'll see how that feast turns out. I know Justin was like, I don't want to do this. So he kind of like went off on his own again. And everybody else was like, what do we do with this? So we'll talk about it tomorrow. But I hope you guys all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And until next time, much love.